Now here is a brand new Battleborn battery, and I bought it with my own money, unfortunately. The price of this battery is crazy, and today we're gonna test it. Recently I showcased the overheating positive terminal, and I have lots of people willing to send me their batteries, but we need to recreate it in a brand new battery. So we're gonna charge and discharge this thing until this thing starts to overheat. So first we're gonna charge it. And this is within the spec that they recommend. With my fluke meter, we're exactly under 50 amps. And the current is already dropping after a few minutes, which is strange because this is a brand new battery. Usually they ship at 50% state of charge, but this thing was at like 95% state of charge. And now it's dropped to zero. So that means the battery is fully charged. Now we're gonna turn on our electronic load and this will discharge it at 99 amps and it will measure the capacity. And we can start the test like this, and the Fluke shows 99 amps. So this thing's having a problem. I don't know what's going on with it. It was doing this a couple days ago. I think it's broken. There's no current leaving the battery. So last night, this thing was acting crazy and I couldn't fix it. So I talked to the supplier and we figured out that the main control board is actually fried. I don't know how I did it. I haven't done anything stupid with it. Also, I need this power supply up here for other projects. So we need to build a new system for testing the Battleborn long term. So this is the new test system and we're charging with 49 amps. And this is a higher quality electronic load, so I don't think we'll have any issues now. Also, this one has remote sense leads, so it's a little bit more accurate. Now we are fully charged so we can do the load test. Now we're drawing 99 amps and we shouldn't have an issue this time. With the meter, we're at 99.9 .9 amps solid. Now we're almost halfway done with this test and both terminals are pretty much at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Not any significant difference that I can measure here. And it passed the capacity test at a 1C rate. And this terminal is at 109 degrees Fahrenheit. This one's at 114 degrees Fahrenheit. Now for every capacity test, I'll write the results on the side of the battery. And now the hard part, I need to do this over and over again until that terminal overheats. So I'll come back in like a week when I get some more results. So unfortunately I found a new problem. So with the new machine, I cycled it seven times. And the first two times I pulled full capacity. But then on the third cycle, I pulled 76 amp hours and I was confused, why did this happen? So I tested it again and I got 68 amp hours and these tests were back to back. So it was getting worse. So I thought, hey, maybe it's getting too hot and the BMS is cutting it out. So I let the battery cool down and I tested it again. And then I got 103 amp hours and I was like, great, it's working again. So right after this test, I tested it again and I got 50 amp hours. And that was so bad, so I tested it right after and I got 70 amp hours. So if you do back-to-back -back testing, you don't get the full capacity. This thing has a high temperature disconnect and it shuts down. But how can I do my testing if we can't get the full capacity? So now we have a new problem. Keep in mind that the cycling I've done is charging at 49 amps and discharging with 99 amps. So we're using it as advertised. But if you do it back to back, you're not gonna get the full capacity. And this is winter time. This is not in a hot environment. This shop stays at 75 degrees all year round for these tests because these batteries like that temperature. Now between the first test and the second test, I went to sleep. So it actually got to cool down and I pulled full capacity. And then the next day, I did this test right after this one, and guess what? It disconnected short. Now, if this is certified to a UL standard, how did they not catch this? It's rated on the sticker, on the battery for 100 amps, but I can't pull that. And I'm getting consistent results. There's no surprises here. Take your own Battleborn if you have one and do this test. I really want to cut into it, but we need to get some more cycles on here. So I ordered a cycle machine so we can put 100 or 1,000 cycles on this. This thing's rated for 3,000 to 5,000 cycles. We're already having problems on the seventh cycle. That's not good. But once I cycle it a lot, then we can open it up and check this terminal and see if it's having the same issue. Now currently I have over 20 batteries being offered to me to make a video on that has a failure, but I don't know how it was used. And I wanna cycle it as advertised and then open it up on camera to see what has happened. I think that that's a fair test. Also on this sticker, it says conforms, certified and conforms. That does not mean UL listed. That means it's conforming to a standard, probably with the third party lab. 
And I think a lot of these batteries that say this stuff, we need to start testing all of them. Actually, lately, I have been testing all of them. Even the cheap dumb fume batteries I've been testing with the electronic load with 200 amps, and it does it just fine. Maybe the overheating terminal made them change the software so that it disconnects earlier, but now I'm not getting the full capacity at the advertised rates. But that's not a safety issue, that's I'm not getting my money's worth issue. Because I can't even do the test right now, I'm gonna lower the current, lower the current, and then I'll put a thousand cycles on it, and then we'll see if it actually melts. And my cycle machine should be here in a few weeks. They're making it right now. Also, once I have that machine, we'll compare this one to the other ones. The cheap batteries, the more expensive batteries, everything. And we'll see what actually succeeds. But I'm kind of in a pickle because I can't even get full capacity right now. How am I supposed to test this? if it keeps disconnecting. Now, if you have one of these batteries at home, test it and post your results, post a video. I wanna see your evidence. Whatever you guys have to share to help others, I would love to see it. So I hope you liked the video and we will keep testing this one and I'll have more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.